So welcome to today's video. I'm going to mean to be going over uh, everything we did to install solar on our home. I'll take you through the process of getting the quote, how much it was. I'll walk you through what it looks like on the roof. I'll take you through what we're producing. I'll analyze one of our energy bills and take you through the whole process. So if you guys like the video, I'd appreciate a like, a subscription, and hopefully there'll be much more videos to come. Okay, here we go. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys is the quote that we got from Shine Solar. Now, I am not sponsored by Shine Solar. However, down in the description below, I will put information where you guys can get some money off if you decide to go with Shine Solar. And I also get a little bit of a kickback uh, with some affiliate marketing. But this is not sponsored by Shine Solar. I actually got quotes from three separate companies. In the end, we went with Shine mostly because of their financing offer, which I'll talk about that here in a little bit. But right now, let's go through our quote. All right. So they take an overhead shot of your home, right? So I ended up in the final thing having panels here, having panels here, here, and back in the back. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little more. So here, 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 and here. Now, if you stick around for the end of the video, I'll do an aerial shot showing you all the panels and what they look like. All right, so my total size is 11.22 kilowatt hours, right? 33 panels. I didn't do any kind of battery backup. So that being because I didn't want to spend the extra money for the battery. Batteries are expensive. Okay. This is our projected consumption versus production. And this is how much that we ended up paying. So the total loan was pretty hefty, right? But I'll do it in green since we're talking about money. So it's fifty-four nine ninety. All right, we get a federal tax credit, which we're in the middle of doing right now with our accountant for fourteen two ninety-seven. So we have a flex twenty-five year three point nine eight percent financing offer at two hundred and twenty-two dollars a month. Now, in the summertime. Our electric bill is almost $400. So this is actually a pretty good thing for us. Now, we decided to take some money that we had nest egged away and go ahead and pay the system off outright. So I now own this system. I have no payments, right? But that is the total cost of the system. All right, so now I'm going to take you through the app and we will show you some stuff there. All right, so here is right now, this is this month. This is February. Now we've had some days where I have had overcast skies or poor weather. We had a snowstorm come through. We had an ice storm come through, right? But as of right now, this month in February, we have produced the 39,000 or 3,900. I'm sorry, 3,900. Oh, I'm sorry. That's totally wrong. 390 kilowatt hours. We have consumed 465 kilowatt hours, so I have imported from my energy company 75 kilowatt hours. All right, I'm going to show you what today looks like. This is just your average day, right? So the orange on the bars down below is what I am consuming, and the blue is what I'm producing. So today has been a really good day. Today, the sun is nice and bright. It's beautiful outside. And I have produced 40 kilowatt hours. I have consumed 19. So I have uploaded to the energy company 20.5 kilowatt hours that they owe me back. Right. So I'm on what's called a net metering agreement with Entergy. I get for every kilowatt hour I upload, they owe me a kilowatt hour back. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up, not, I'm going to pull up last month. All right. So overall, I produced 843.2 kilowatt hours. 
I consumed 1.2 megawatt hours. So 1,200 kilowatt hours, right? With a total of 340 being imported from Intergy because I produced the 843 on my own. So technically, I only get charged by Intergy for the 340.1 kilowatt hours. Now, let's go take a look at a bill and see what that looks like. Okay, now let's talk about the energy bill. I've blacked out some boxes because, you know, I don't want you guys seeing my address and account information. But, so biggest things to take away from this, all right? Look here. This was the total amount that we owed for a month in electricity, $71, which is great, right? Now, our energy charges were 57 fuel charges 499 and then other charges and credits 906 okay so let's go ahead and break this down and energy bills are always really hard to read every company is a little different this is what we're going to look at so the company says they sent us 1006 kilowatt hours let me erase that Let's do this. They sent us 1,006 kilowatt hours. I want to zoom this in so you guys can see. All right. We sent them 486 kilowatt hours, which means we owe them 520 kilowatt hours. Right? And that ended up being... Our overall 57, 83. Of course, you got, and it's crazy. And the amount of taxes you pay, $20 in like taxes and fuel charges and all that. But overall, all we had to pay for January was the 71.88. So overall, a really, really good deal for us. Uh, plus, it's only going to get better over time, right? So we're in the winter months. You're not The sun isn't on a direct angle to the panels. You're not going to produce as much. We're going to produce even more uh, as we get closer to spring and into summertime. Uh, but, you know, we're also going to have more usage. Whenever summertime gets here, we're going to end up having... Uh, the air conditioner is going to be turning on and things like that. So I'm going to have to do some more management to make sure that we use as little as possible. We insulated, redid the attic insulation, new windows, new doors. We did everything we could to make this house as energy efficient as possible. But it's a very large house. It's a 2,600 square foot house. So, um, you know, two floors. We have two separate air units. So it'll be really interesting this summer to see how, the, how that pans out. I'll probably make another video on that. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I just want to do a brief quick overview uh, of, and that's the brief overview. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stick around. I'm going to do a little montage with some music and rotate around and let you see the panels after the install. By the way, just as an aside, Shine did this install in one day. They showed up that morning. They completely finished the install by two or three o'clock that afternoon, and it was done. The thing that took the longest was waiting for the permits or the inspection from the city, the inspection from the state, and then the inspection from Entergy itself and them coming out and swapping out the meter. But seriously, they did it within a day. We had no problems. They were professional and wonderfully nice and kept us surprised throughout the entire process. All right, this is Binary Atlas, and I hope you guys found this video enjoyable. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's any more information you would like to have about solar, how it works, how we got it installed, or how we're enjoying it. Any kind of questions whatsoever, you let me know, and I will see you guys next time.